is there we go my mic's picking up it's picking up the game uh let's start this i have no clue what this game is There we go. Time to see what this game's all about. Uh, like I said, I know nothing about it. I've only seen the pictures and videos in the store. Other than that, I'm so confused what this game is. I know I'm a cat. And that's about it. What's up, my guys? It's raining out, I know. It's we don't like water. Unless I like water. Do I like water? I don't think I like water. Okay, I can focus on things. I found out how to meow. That was a bedtime for us. It absolutely is beautiful. All right, from now on, no more touching the graphics. Oh, I can meow in the lo or the the cutscenes. All right, I know how to run. in the ledge. Mm. 
The ambiance. What are you up to, dude? Ah. Good to stay hydrated. It's a boards. The barrel. Oh, okay. I thought I just fucking jumped off. Are there secrets I'm collecting or something? Or am I just... Fucking being a cat. I think I'm just being a cat. Not, they can't move forward. I want to go that way. I don't think I can, though. It's gonna fall. No. Oh no, I have a little limb. No. Are we better now? Are we better? Alright, we're better. I can't run though. Oh, wait. Maybe? No, I can't run. Oh, there we go. I can run now. Alright, I saw some things going in here. The dead city. Yo, dudes. Here's friends. 
think that was a no. They don't want to be my friend. What's poppin'? Look at it! It's nodding along. I wonder if there is supposed to be secret and stuff. Fuck that pot. Yeah, fuck all these pots. Green acid water. Uh, he help. Okay. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do. I'm, I'm just a cat. Damn, I thought there was a secret up here. This Fortnite version looks awesome. What is the goal of this game? Uh, I, I, I don't know what this game is. I really don't. This game looks beautiful and interesting, but I don't know what the actual premise is. I'm literally just a cat. Yo, dude, I got a bucket! It's a cat with a bucket! I wanna ring- I wanna ring the bucket with me. This is my bucket. Oh, I can't meow with the bucket. Oh well. We'll have to make do. I'm not leaving without a bucket. I'm not leaving without a bucket. Paint. Let's go. I'm a cat that can knock things over. What did you just type? Or if game is called Am I a Cat, maybe you turn it into something in this game. No, I literally think I am just a cat. The game's called Stray. Follow me. How do I get in there? Or do I not have to get in there? I go up. Mine's a little more. Let's go. Yeah, let's step on all that glass. What am I doing? Why am I following this sign? I don't know if they can be trusted. <sighs> Yo, what are you dudes? Oh, that guy literally just disappeared into nothing. He literally disappeared into nothing. Oh, gee, what's poppin'? Hello? 
I killed him. I I just killed a man. Or a robot, I guess. But I killed him. Yes, I did this, Sean. Alright, where do I gotta go? Where do I gotta go? Up there? All I need is this bucket in life. Me and this bucket can do anything. My fucking bucket. Where's my bucket? I had a bucket with me. Oh, dude, look, they're like termites or something like that. I don't think the termites like me. You know, this all would have not happened if I had my bucket. All I needed was my bucket, and you decided to get rid of it. All I needed, all I wanted. Oh, they just latch on. They just latch on and they don't stop. Get off me! They're like leeches! There's so many of them! I think they're just like leeches. Alright, can I get my bucket back? My bucket was my safety. Not until I get a bucket. I really wish, uh, I really wish, uh, if I knew there were secrets and all that. Or if it's just purposely for adventure, exploration, atmospheric game. It's meant to feel like there's stuff you missed and it's a big open world. giant wood plane. They found the computer room yet? What? What's poppin'? October 11th. Everything else I can't read. But I know it's October 11th. And now I'm in a bucket. Or a barrel. Why did my screen turn red? Oh, does meowing affect with things? Meowing affects with the electronics.
tell you is it affect you? No, it's still just affecting that light over there. Oh, we're doing this again. Okay. At least there was something to catch my call. I was like, we're literally falling again. So who's leading all these signs for me? Because there has to be some entity that's like using these signs and giving me the way to go. So who and why? And how do they know I'm down here? Because so far I've seen nothing but a robot that died and life-sucking termite leeches. Still affecting those lights up there? Are they yeah, they are. I see them. What's poppin'? Thanks for entertaining. Yeah, anytime. Uh, we will go this way. Up here, around this way, this way, this way. Another camera. Just gonna meow them all. Well, I guess the how they know is answered with the... So, the how this entity found me was, was answered with this camera right here. But still, the why of said which camera... Why does it help me? What is this? I unplugged the fan. The flat. Need help. Now I'm good. I'm, I'm really good, actually. What is this? Yeah, fuck this carpet. Fuck this carpet! Dude, we tore that carpet up! We tore that carpet Oh! <laughs> Alright, fine. What do you need help with? Let's go! I'm trying! I got this. Why are you required for download? Enter the door, turn on, find the body. I see you're done talking to me. My battery. This. My battery. Oh, I gotta find batteries now, do I? Where did that one go? I think that's what I'm doing. Can I get out? I left. I have a battery outside. There's one up there, I see it.
Where's this last battery? There it is. Here. What's that here? Another secret door. Is this the body? I don't know what that is. Where am I going? What do I do with this? What am I doing with this? Oh, in here? It worked, I'm free, thank you. I couldn't believe the camera. The cat in the dead city. I'm I can't remember my name. It seems my memory's corrupted. I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long. I know I worked for a scientist who lived here. For now you can call me B12. That's what it says on my exterior. It's dangerous in the dead city, but you seem like you know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here, follow me. I think your science friend's dead. I think he's dead. I don't know what leads me to think that, but I think he is dead. The key unlocks the door, I remember that much. Let me get that for you. Technically you didn't get it to me, it just evaporated from fucking existence. Very good. Battery low already. Come over here. I have to put this on. I got my little backpack vest on. Look at him! Look at him in there! I do not like this. Backpack is designed for small quadrupeds like you. Is this uncomfortable for you? Don't worry, I'll get used to it. I've digitized the key and stored it in the backpack. I have memories. Sensor detecting memory data at proximity. All right, so there's like a beach painting with some palm trees. Easy. If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me or to others if we come across any. Now let's get out of this flat. Let me find this thing before we leave. Because now there is secrets and I want them. Where is that? I don't think it's here. I don't think it's in here. That's a fucking bright ass light. You know.
What's the code? Zero four seven six. There's a lot of four-digit codes. There's a lot of four-digit codes. Where? Wh what do I know? Which one's real? All oh, right, here. It's this code. Three seven four eight. Wow, look at this place. That elevator in the distance, that's important, I think. I know we need to go up. What the fuck is below me? Can we talk about what's below me? Like, I don't give a shit about a damn elevator, that's normal. What's below me is not. Also... Where is this? This might be further down. I'm seeing a lot of trash and snow cones. There's a street light. Or not snow cones, traffic cones and the street light. So I don't think we'll see it until we get down. But yeah, what is below? Look at that. Yeah, look at that bucket. Here it is. Here's the thing. Wait, I remember the outside. It feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? I promised someone I would go there. I promised who? This postcard. The mural is painted from it. Let's take it. Got a postcard. Why do I have these memories? How did I get there? Let's keep going. Do I, do I get to know what my next memory is? Oh, memory received. Will it tell me when I get a new memory thing popping up? Because I don't want to keep looking every like five seconds. Safe zone. Oh, I have a translator. Let's go. My robot can translate for me. What does it say? Why does those why do those bottom pictures look like cats? Oh, we're getting closer to the goop. Awesome. Look, oh, friends. I have a light. How does that make you feel? Oh, oh Jesus, I need to run. I need to run. Oh, they can get up here, they can get up here, they can get up here. I was like, I'm safe. You guys can't get me. Can I get an explanation of what this is, robot dude? Nope, not up there. I need you to jump up, 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 up. Okay, I guess that jumping up is not the thing. Oh, there we go, this up. Cam, are you gonna nod at me? No, it didn't. It's, uh... Alright, the slums. What up? I feel like I could just jump over that, but okay. What's up? Oh. Over here. Yo.
Is it because I'm orange and they're scared of me? Oh, he likes me. I don't know what that says. They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. You're welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. I like that agreement. I don't want to eat anyone. Just robots. It's all just robots. You look lost. What do you need? Oh, picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This elevator is operational. Everyone knows that it is impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now. Except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want. But he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. It was high up in that building with the orange neon sign. That building? Alright. I, I just looked at it. Why do you gotta show me, game? Of course he pointed at it and I would look at it. You have such a fright. We thought you were a Zerg. Oh, very pretty. I want that face. I want that face. Alright, any other faces that I want to get a picture of? Nah. I'm fine with everything else. This guy likes me. It's a ball. Oh, he doesn't make a face. Hello, I'm the merchant of the market. You give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It's simple as that. This is the set of electrical cable, the best of the market. I'll exchange this for a super spirit detergent. That's the best I can do. Musical sheet. Cable. It's an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. Cost you three energy drink cans. I can't do less. The marketplace. We're fortunate to have these items to help us defend against the Zerks. The slums has its threats, and preparation is key. Well, how do I find these... these things? I want to buy things. Can I get more? No? Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. You want the music sheet. How much does the music sheet cost? I have one energy can, I'll give it to you. Hello again, what do you want now? 
Music sheet, a masterful piece of art of any of a very renowned artist. Plus, you want to drink a can. I got you. I got you. Lady and or man. I don't know because you are all robots. The way you compute tonight. That's a nice one. Hear me out. The song sounds familiar. All right, let's start progressing again. No, there's something up here. Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. Okay, so that little green effect means that there's a memory. Sign. He's the only lead we've got for getting out of here. Oh, there's so many. What is that? I'm not getting a lot to go off of here. Wood flooring, I think. Either that or some type of roof. That's a janitor. A picture of a janitor. I see a bowl with some glasses upside down. That has a lava lamp with a lot of sticking out from my wall. Rip humans. And then some type of tile walling looking somewhat like a bathroom. Is this still? Hey, Clementine's notebook. It's a strange notebook with a symbol on it. This one belongs to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed. Can't get me back up. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. I don't know what this means, but it'll probably be useful later. Just that moment person who Guardian told us about. I'm still exploring. Stop rushing me. Oh, I saw something. Music sheet! Alright, everywhere but the giant glowing sign is where I want to go right now. Interesting. Can 
I unplug it? I cannot. Alright, what's in here? A library of sorts. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42. Another music sheet. Anything up here? Nope. Uh, there's something up there. I see it. How do I get up there? Oh, we'll make our way back around. Nothing freaks out when I meow anymore. What a shame. Hey, Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. I don't have to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Bury the safe behind a bunch of books. We have the keys. Was that? Take Doc's notebook. The strange notebook with a symbol on it. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be able, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt is explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. I don't know what it means, but it'll probably be useful later. Can I grab anything else? Nope. Still have no clue what that thing is up there, but... Don't know if I can get to it. Oh, I can. Oh, it's a little resting outpost. That's cute. I need to get a good, get a good screenshot. Oh, <laughs> if it'll let me. Coffin. They love painting. So far, I've needed 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. If you're giving me an electric cable, I can make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right materials around here. What did I need the electric cable? Elliot programming. How can the doorway for us to open it? What's up? Thanks for letting me in. We are programming the beast slaves, but since two five four four eight seven five 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 six days, we have how many days is that? Five eight million. 2,544,875,556 days, we have a soul. Hope one day the outsiders will find the exit of this hell, Momo. Oh! It's the tree! This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human in, in, in Gwenity? In Gwenity. 
found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyways. That's what the humans would have wanted. So the humans are all dead and it's just robots now. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, fuck up this carpet too. Look at that. Look how fast I'm going. Yeah, do you hate this? Yes, can I help you? Uh, Clementine's notes. Oh yes, everyone around here knows the symbols. It's the outsiders. Live on the upper floors of this area. You can probably talk to Momo about this. I mean, she, I don't play any instruments. Sorry. All right, Elliot. See ya. Yeah. Fuck this door. We're gonna leave our mark on everything. Alright. Another music sheet, let's go. Let me out, please. Sir, please. Thank you. I think that's where I'm going to find the bowl. We need right here. What can I do for you? I don't think I have anything really. See you later, Jacob. You want something? What up, Billy? What is that? Jacob, employee of the month, September XX27. Aha, I knew it I would find the bowl here. Those are microchips in the bowl. Do they really consume this? In their original design they didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans. Do you think I should try some of it? I do not want to be distracted of their ways. Oh yes, another thing to scratch. Up. <laughs> oh, can I play? Please tell me there's an achievement for knocking all the balls in. Please. Go in. I only have a few left. This is back to where the fucking leeches are. I'm glad I came down here. Give me that can. R.I.P. Humans. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems they're, that they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly coming for me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry, I don't want to break the mood. Let's move on. Super spirit to the left. Those guys better not drop a paint bucket again or else Cosmo will be ticked off. Your name is Zoe though. Who's Cosmo? Super spirit!
Go into the shoveling explain with the pain buckets on the roof. You're paying away. I'm tired of cleaning my stoop because of a mess. Alright. Time to throw a pain bucket down. Any music over here? Not that I see. Alright. Let's get this. Yes, I want it. There you go. Oh, that's clever. The cloth was covering the picture. This is an early model of a companion. Back when they didn't have any personality, they were just glorified aut autonomous cleaners. I think it's nice that they eventually mimic humans. Like they meant they missed them, and in a way they kept they kind of kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. Alright, we have two more. What are these last two? We have a robot on a rooftop somewhere. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And this one. This might be the Super Spirit or Momo. Where does he put this? Please don't bother Vapor, she's so clumsy. So I gotta go bother her. Do I? Did someone say go bother her? Right when she's throwing. Let's go, oh, Super Spirit. All right, let's go down now. Cleaning the porch of my shop. Again. Stop playing off of my shop, you clumsy rascal. Do my paw prints get <gasps> they do. They get paint filled. Alright, I needed something from this place. But whatever it was, I don't know. There we go. Super Spirit Detergent. Adios! I'm still missing some sheet music. Got a poncho. There you go, little one. It'll suit you well. Oh, it's over there. It's over there. Did I research this game before I decided to play? I did not research it. I'm going in completely blind. It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go up to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans cannot help but divide themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were preparing to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copy this behavior. I'm still missing some sheet music. But I guess it's not the end of the world. I feel like memories are the big thing here. Alright, I'm I think that's what it's saying. The last two are in Momo's apartment. No, 
No, I didn't want to jump in that. That oh, wasn't the end of the world. Alright, I still need one more memory and two more music sheets. I got a bag on my head. Oh, the controls are reversed. Help! 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 Fuck! Okay, there we go. I see it. I was like, why is it not letting me up there? Yeah, fuck this wall. And here's my last memory. I knew it would be with Momo. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientists and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? What's wrong, dude? I, I can't see anything. Are you Are you talking to me? Oh, there you go. Hey you, what do you want? Uh, this. Choose the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had that stream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that... Fucking receiver doesn't work. I had to count the asterisks to see what it was. My friend and I took notes of our research on the outside here take mine if you really want to go there almost book. you're on your own i'm done with the outside good luck seems very sad and this is his friend let me check the note that he gave us the outsider's manifesto we must go outside at any cost we must protect our brothers and sisters we must stay away from zergs it was signed clementine zabaltzer doc and momo it looks like momo's name was added later i think we should find other notebooks Symbol on the wall matches the one in the notebook. Yeah, I already have that one. I need the, the Walter notebook. Maybe I can see the symbols from Momo's place. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I see you. I gotta get back up. They should give me the last book. Ventilation power supply. We don't need that. Alright, where's this last book? This is very claustrophobic right now. I will say that. The book has to be in here.
There we go. The last book. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zabalt Zor. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zergs. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at all inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Oh, there's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. So I think we're getting a grasp of this game. We're trying to help our robot remember what's going on. And also give us more lore onto it. But I feel like that's the side mission. The main mission is getting back up top. The side... Alright, I got it now. That's where the secrets come into play. The secrets help us understand why everything's happening. But... In reality, our cat just wants to be with their friends again. Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun and fifth largest in the solar system by mass and diameter. To date, it's the only celestial object known to foster life. According to radiometric dating, the Earth is 4.54 billion years old. It is a single natural satellite. The moon, which formed soon after. The gravitational interaction with the moon creates the tides, stabilizes the Earth's axis of rotation, and gradually reduces its rotation speed. Hello, cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? We found Clementine's note. She was really brave, you know. Most fearless person I ever met. Oh, it belongs to Doc. He really, he was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great uh, discovery. That's my notebook. I was the last to join the Outsiders, and I'm also the last remaining one. On show. That's the Bolzer's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait, you actually found all my friends' notebooks. Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. One time, Subalter, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I promise you, I find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, we might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. And then there was hope. And voila, it works. Come with me. Alright. Alright, I found a ball. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zergs. We need you, little outsider, bring us to the sky. And more memories unlocked. Uh, we have a skyscraper overlooking the city. We have a gibberish sign with a... Yeah, gibberish sign. And then we have a Zerk file. Alright, here we go. Now it gets interesting. Because we're starting to understand what's going on. The rooftops. Let's see. What is my way of approaching this? I guess he was just right. Just the only way to avoid them is by fucking running. Oh, fuck me. I thought they were still busy. Uh. Well, that's the first time we died.
Stop me! Fuck. What am I doing wrong? Because it's not like Meow to alert the enemies to a different direction, it's Meow alert them and they're on fucking top of you. Maybe because I'm running. Maybe if I don't run, I'll be fine. Nope, they still know where I am. But they can't get me up here. Alright, so that's what it is. I gotta lure them around obstacles and things. For my advantage. I'm only looking for two things, right? A big memory and then two minor ones. I feel like the big memories are gonna be unable to be missed. And the small ones are the ones I'm about to figure out myself. I love the music. I really do. Oh, I think the sign's up here. I saw something flashing. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. People couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. First was taken away and never seen again. People saw hope and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing their pressures could do. It was a way for people to see color again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Alright, we have a Zerg nest and then the city skyline. How do I get up there? Barrel, that's how. far enough. It says Neon, or Neo. Yeah, it says Neo. That's what I'm looking for. It's shipment container that says Neo. Still one life, which sucks. But I can deal with this guy. I can deal with the other one. He's not a big problem issue. see anything of interest yet. I already saw the wood plank I need to knock down. Alright, it's gonna be in here. No doubt about that.
Already see me. There we go. Made it out. Still haven't seen that shipping container. I have to open that door, it's gonna unlock itself. There we go. Nico Corporation. Nico kinda like a cat. Also for waste management. As trash and upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. The humans disappear that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away any eating way more than trash. And now we have Zergs. Let's go. So we're really starting to get to know everything and what's going on. I fucked up. I didn't mean to hack that and hack it and run back in. Outside. And I need to do this. Just keep inching it closer. Just keep inching it closer. There we go. Now all we need is the city skyline. I think we're getting there. It's probably, yeah, up there. I don't think it's going to be down here. Well, Let me in! Let me in! The elevator is slow. And kind of allowed to. There we go, just a little bit quieter. And my last memory should be up here. I don't see it not being up here. Here it is, put the transceiver on the antenna. What if I just leave? I need to get my last thing. Don't I still need my last thing? I don't want to miss out on it. Maybe it's forced? Maybe it's forced. That's all I can hope for.
Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now, the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof, sealing off the city. Humankind built a shelter to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But it came from there, it must mean it's safe. But if you came from there, it must mean it's safe. And promise... But my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose, I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. I don't think we can open the city anymore, because of all the Zerks. I literally think if we open the city, the fucking planet's doomed. The Slums Part 2. Uh... I am actually really enjoying this game, and I don't see myself not playing it anymore. It's very interesting. I love the story. I love the atmosphere. It's very interesting, and I want to know how it ends. But right now, I will be leaving it here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.